that's Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> You are listening to The Big Questions. I'm your host, Robert K. Elder. That sleepless man at the top is Robert K. Elder. Elder's late nights are not because he's out on the town. He's at home, writing yet another book. His ability to churn and burn prompted me to ask him this question. Do you have a fear of death? Am I human? Aren't we, aren't we <laughs> well, all? Well, I know, but some of us are driven more profoundly. I mean, I'm pretty lazy. I can put off the thought of death. You have to live, eat, breathe, sleep. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway. Is there a point where you're just like, all right, I'm done with Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, that, that, that was, that <laughs> that was a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> but the thing that is really interesting about this is as I go forward, more people come out and want to talk about him. And I discover new things all the time. And even the work, it helps me appreciate the work because I was sort of like you. I did not have a deep appreciation for the work. I think mixtapes and playlists have such a special place in so many of our lives. Tell me about the path to creating this book. My sort of career trajectory has been capturing epiphanies and epiphany moments. People say smell is the mm-hmm. the sense that brings memory back the most powerfully. And for me, it's not. It's always sound. It's always music. I was promoting my previous book, Hidden Hemingway, about Ernest Hemingway, mm-hmm. in Key West. And I sat down. I'd known no one in Key West. And I went to dinner with these very lovely women who were just going to host me for the evening. And they said, oh, well, what else are you working on? And I said, oh, I'm, I'm working on this book, Mixtape of My Life. And they said, well, what's a prompt? Uh, and I said, well, um, uh, what artist can't you listen to anymore because of a past romance? Oh. <laughs> and then we sort of black out bottles of wine later, <laughs> three hours later, one song, and we are instant friends. Why did it intrigue you, interest you so much? I think just because you get the full range of human experience uh, within Lost Words. And after I looked into it a little bit, I was sort of appalled that there had been no modern study of Lost Words. Again, we have more Lost Words from prisoners than we do from poets and politicians. And even like Albert Einstein's Lost Words were lost because his nurse did not speak German. And so my central driving question was, if these are the most dangerous, reviled people in society, why does it remain a cultural value to record what they say? What were your feelings about Hemingway before you moved to Old Park? Let's sure, say. sure. Well, I was not part of the generation that read him in high school. Right. So my guys that I gravitated to were Vonnegut, Steinbeck, sure. um, Harlan Ellison, Neil Gaiman. So he was not part of my literary pantheon. Even I was more familiar with Mark Twain. You know, you do the book not because you are an expert. You do it to become the expert. Congratulations on this one. I can't wait to have you back for the next one. I hope it'll be before then.